Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. How are you? It is out and it's back from outer space. <laughs> it's the Sorcerer's deck. Make sure you check it out on the comments below. And if you are chatting, hello guys. Okay, can you check it please? And it also comes with Trimurti. It's a, uh, uh, it's three sets like an encyclopedia. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, let's see what's going on. I'm just looking at the camera because I have my monitor over there. How are the Virgos? <laughs> How are the Virgos? I don't know, so you tell me. Okay. Then we shall see, this is your I believe weeklies, okay. So let me explain how it works in this channel. My house, my rules, and the house always wins. <laughs> Here you go. The Virgo is on the end of on this side. So if you have no other business, you're actually on this side because why are you watching a Virgo reading when you're not a Virgo? Okay, a stalker, AKA a joiner, okay. We can flip and reverse a reading here because where does it say that you can flip and reverse a reading? Can you flip and reverse your planet and take other people's planet? No. So we say, you're here, you're there. Okay. <laughs> here we go. It's useless to flip a re reading. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And I'm hearing, but it resonates. You're just flipping it. That's why it resonates. Okay, here we go. You know, my kids, I'm, mm, ah, mm, mm. go to your room. Mm. But I don't have a room. Then go somewhere, okay? <laughs> Eight of Wands, Four of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. We're a little spicy. Okay, Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands, tem Temperance, Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Two of Swords, <clears throat> Eight of Swords, Three of Cups. I'm gonna give you a, a heads up, Virgo. Okay, you guys are smart, and I want you to be more smarter. Yeah? Smart. <laughs> I'm very critical as a parent, I swear. You're smart, but I want you to be more smart. Okay. So in 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 a year, okay, Mercury goes retrograde four times. Every three months, I believe. Okay, every three months. Okay. So we know that it happens every time, right? So we just came out of one. So what are you doing right now? Okay, start getting ready for the next one. And then the next one. And then the next one. Okay. Don't go like uh, because it is your ascendant lord. That's why I'm, that's why I'm giving you a heads up. Don't go, oh, well, I just, I will face it when it's there. Too late. What you do right now in the next three months, it's going to affect you. What you do now in the next three months, it's going to affect you. So every day matters for you to make a decision in a smart way. Every day counts. Got it. Okay. Eight of Wands and the Four of Wands. There's a, there's a part of you right now, it's coming weeks. You want to see and explore um, the... The side of you that makes feel that makes you feel good. I feel like this is more of abundance. This is like coins. This is a, um, this is like I want to be um, better in my home life. I want to improve things in my life because the eight of wands is a call to action from the universe. Uh, sorry guys, a uh, call to action from the universe, and it's a feeling like you want to just do, and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. There are some coins in the four of wands, and she is just. Laying back there, very uh, secure. Double the number, double the energy, meaning for me for the card. Then you want to feel secure for this coming week, which is good. You can buy, okay, remember Virgos are the perfection. Buy focus, okay? So keep focusing on the money, honey. Keep focusing on you, honey. And then the honey will come. Mm -hmm. All those bees. Mm -hmm. So it only means that the more time that you spend this coming weeks with your goals, with your dreams, with what you have been desiring, when you're putting in effort 100%, nothing less, you know that you're going to get there. I see you when you get there. Eight of Pentacles. Love and romantic connection has been a challenge. It's a constant 
fear of yours, which join the group, right? Because that's why everybody um, watches tarot. It's, you know, a lot of pain, a lot of healing that uh, all these readers are helping. Mm -hmm. Imagine before when there's no readers, uh, you know, like this amount. When Where do they channel their healing? Now, you know, nine of swords with a ten of cups, you're actually um, facing it, okay? You're facing it by avoiding it because you, you're putting your time at work. <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, don't fear love. Mm -hmm. It is nothing to fear. Fear death. Okay. <laughs> because that one is going to dig you a hole. And here it's a showing that you are, uh, you have trust issues. You're paranoid about falling for someone or if someone has um, this loving energy to you. Okay. You have the four of cups, which only means that you are, um, there's some stubbornness in your life, which is you. This is you. Um, complacent with regards to, um, um, how to say this? I don't want nobody, I don't want to deal with anyone. You know, I don't want to have anybody around me, you know, sorry. Uh, okay. I don't want to be, uh, I don't want anybody to be around me. Okay. Dream, dream, dream. Sorry guys, expect a call. Okay. I have all my timers here. Okay. Okay. How about that expect a call then okay so i don't want to be any i don't want anybody around me so that is an omen because we also have to read omens it means expect a call a message that you have been trying to avoid and it's coming can be work wise also you're avoiding three of pentacles four of pentacles um and uh in this three and pentacles and four of pentacles this is you um hiding yourself from people i wonder why um it it feels like with the eight of swords you're hiding because you there's that feeling of, uh, like, let's just say they have scorned you or there's some sort of, like, deep, uh, like a wound that this person has brought into your life and you just don't want to deal with it. Yeah, okay. Got it. Okay. So you just don't want to deal with them. Now, let's see the joiner here. Five of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands. They're actually asking for mercy, asking for forgiveness, asking for some time with you. Nine of Wands, though, is a victim mentality, so can be, like, uh, they're not willing to accept their fault, but they were willing to accept that they need you. Okay, so we got a stubborn. Okay, a stubborn one. Now there can be a sag also here. Now they're trying not. They're trying their best not to, for you not to assume that there's gonna be a reconciliation. So I mean they're trying to avoid the topic, but they want that. Okay, because they have the seven of wands and the temperance right here. Okay. So this is their part of. Ooh. This is the part of like, I want you, Knight of Wands, with the Seven of Wands and the Temperance, they're trying to restrict from meeting you halfway. So still stubborn energy here with the joiner. They are trying to refuse it. But you, you're in the total no anyway. With the Four of Cups, it's like, I don't even want to deal with you, so I don't know what you're trying to refuse. When I'm not even at the same table as you are, you're the one who wants me, and that's your issue. Because Seven of Wands with the Temperance, they really do. Okay. They're disappointed with how these things are going right now with the Five of Cups. They're very sad and upset about this. Um, and it looks like, you know, the whole world has gone down on them. Okay. Five of Wands and the Two of Swords, they're in a crossroads between, okay, uh, they call it the Rock or, not the Rock, Dwayne, you know, the Rock, a Rock and a Hard Place. Okay. If you're at a crossroads with the Rock, okay, probably you're Hollywood. Okay. Um, five of Wands and the Two of Swords is internal conflict that the joiner is having right now is whether to reconcile with you or not because they know, you know, like life is easy, life is fun with you, okay? Life is organized when you're with a Virgo. <laughs> life is where it's supposed to be good, you know, like we need to have a retirement and then we're going to buy this and we're going to and the next, next, next. So, you know, a good organizer is a Virgo. Okay, and calm your TITS. You're gonna because there's always this there's always this person who's gonna say, "I'm a Virgo. I'm always late. I'm never organized." Then chances are you're not really a Virgo. Okay, <laughs> you just think you are, <laughs> or your Lagna Lord is badly placed, and you have different yogas that is affecting Mercury. Exacto mundo. But majority of the Virgos, of course, um, they try to be as perfect as possible. Yes, but they screw up with their love life. <laughs> Okay, so, okay, stop dragging us because you're scared about this to happen, Eight of Swords. You can't, like, you can't fathom the idea of a past person. 
the past person is fathoming you. Okay, it's like Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna continue this reading as the ghost of the past is still haunting you. Check me out on Instagram at Salbidora. That's where I do my live reading. And check out the IG story. Be careful of scammers. I will never direct message you or ask you for anything besides liking my thirst trap pictures. Guys.